a Nihilus confronts the Hulk in the negative zone. Having no further use for the green hero, the despot begins to assault his former prisoner, knocking him around with ease. But the Hulk quickly gets angry and begins to fight back. However, with the powers of Banner's gamma radiation infused body, Annihilus is now as strong as the green giant and is able to overpower his foe. Unleashing a new ability, the Lord of the Negative Zone is able to broadcast feelings of intense fear within Hulk, forcing the latter to flee in terror. Meanwhile, Pip the Troll wakes up, having been knocked unconscious after the Hulk's escape. He sees the green giant running through the Negative Zone, with the hulked out Annihilus in hot pursuit, and tries to come up with a plan. Fearing the wrath of the Avengers, Pip knows he needs to get the Hulk back to Earth, but is struggling to find an opening between these two warring giants. After a lengthy chase, the Hulk decides that he has had enough running and manages to knock Annihilus down, distracting the dictator long enough to interrupt the fear broadcast. But the tyrant is also fed up with his battle and exposes the Hulk to the full power of his cosmic control rod. The Avenger is no match for this formidable power, but fortunately, Pip is able to teleport Annihilus out of the way and manages to save the Hulk. The troll takes the superhero back to Earth, but Annihilus is unfazed by this escape. With his new power, there is nobody in the universe who can stop him. On Earth, Pip is pleased at a job well done, but the Hulk is... Hulk, and tries to kick the troll away. Pip leaves, and the Hulk still fuming, returns to S.H.I.E.L.D. Becoming Banner once more, Maria Hill demands to know what has happened to the scientist, but Bruce is only interested in sleeping off this traumatic experience. Noting wounds from Annihilus on Banner's back, she orders a medic to treat the injured Avenger, deciding to seek answers later. Pip returns to Starlands, an off-planet bar that is far away from Earth. He finds his girlfriend has left him for Kazar, and decides it's time to have a drink. Meanwhile, aboard his ship, Thanos looks on at a transformed Annihilus, and the Mad Titan prepares his next move. Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Arden, and this is my recap and review of Thanos vs. Hulk number 4. <sighs> what the hell happened to this miniseries? I was joking last review that we might not be seeing more of Thanos in this story, even though his name was in the title, but I didn't expect to actually be right. Or at the very least, I didn't want to be right. But sure enough, Thanos only appears in one panel of this comic, meaning that the only fight that happened in Thanos vs. Hulk was one during the second issue that lasted over a small handful of panels and took place entirely in Bruce Banner's imagination. <sighs> what? This is a story about Annihilus and the Hulk, and while I didn't mind it at first, issue 4 seriously lacked substance. There isn't as many well-drawn panels in this issue as most of the comic just depicts these two knocking each other around in the negative zone. Pretty much all of the art looks the same in this issue, and none of it is remarkable as a result. And that's it, there's nothing more to this comic. Feels like it was just setting up a bigger and better story with the upcoming graphic novel called Thanos, The Infinity Relativity. But after this waste of time, there is no way I'm going to cover that. So I don't have much else to add to this. I really found issue number 4 to be disappointing. The one thing I like is a couple of fun little cameos at the end, with a bar named after Jim Starlin himself, and a small cameo featuring Drax the Destroyer. But everything else was so... empty in this comic. Three pages wrap the story up in the most anticlimactic way imaginable, while the rest of the comic is one long, unremarkable fight scene. I would have expected much better from the guy who created half of the characters in this story to begin with. Jim Starlin has a reputation for telling the same story over and over. Thanos vs Hulk was a unique departure from Starlin's past work, but it's so unsubstantial and a pretty boring read overall. Hulk gets kidnapped, Hulk escapes, Hulk smashed, the end. What a waste of what could have been four issues of genuine fun. So yeah, overall, this was a pretty unsatisfying ending to an overall underwhelming miniseries. I do not recommend this at all. Oh well, tomorrow I will be reviewing Batman and Robin number 40, 
and everything will be all better. In the meantime, let me know what you guys think of Thanos vs. Hulk number 4 in the comments section below. If you'd like to learn more about comics, be sure to check out the video description for various fun links, including our website, Facebook page, and Twitter account. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.